Hi, my name is Paul Psolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center and ivymasters.com. Today we're going to look at Test 1, Section 4, Number 36, which reads, For what value of x is the function h above undefined? So, we got to find where it's undefined. So, typically there's three categories of students. One who looks at this and they don't have any idea how to do it. Another is, oh, I know that the bottom of the fraction has to be zero if it's undefined. So they look at it and they say, oh, it's five. But if you notice, if you put five into the answer, five minus five is zero squared is zero, plus four times five minus five is zero, four times zero is zero, plus four, you wind up with one fourth if you think that the answer is five. So how do you go about solving this? you would actually have to set the bottom equal to zero to find the x that's going to make the bottom zero. So x minus five quantity squared, another way to write that is x minus five times x minus five. And then you'd be foiling. Plus four, I could distribute that four, I get four x minus 20 plus four. Foiling over here, I get x squared, and then you get minus 5x minus 5x. We could just combine those to minus 10x plus 25 plus 4x. And you can combine these to get yeah, minus 16. Um, there's only one x squared term. It's here. We could combine these two. You get minus 6x. You can combine these two. You get plus 9. And now I need two numbers that are going to multiply to give me a positive 9 and add to give me a negative 6. So if you're not sure of this, and there is a bit of a shortcut here, but if you're not sure of this, you put the 9 over here, you should know you have your x and your x. You should know when you multiply to get a positive, add to get a negative, it's got to be negative, negative. And how can we split the 9? Um, negative 1, negative 9. That'll give you negative 10 when you add it up, and then negative 3, negative 3. And that, sure enough, will give you negative 6, so it's minus 3, minus 3. Um, and keep in mind we're setting this equal to 0 to see what will make the bottom undefined. And at this point you would set the parts equal to 0 if you don't see the answer already, so x is 3. Don't believe me? If you plug it back in, and I'm just going to do this out loud instead of writing it down, 3 minus 5 is <clears throat> is negative 2. Quantity squared is 4. And then 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. And then you get plus 4 at the end. And you can see that you wind up with 4 and 4 is 8. Minus 8 will give you 0 in the bottom. Hope you enjoyed us today. My name is Paul, Ivy Masters Learning Center. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has trouble with quadratics or has to be reminded that the bottom of a fraction is undefined. If there's any video that you'd like to see shot on a PSAT or an SAT or an ACT, any official test, leave it in the comments. And click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Have a great day.